In this video, we're going to use Illustrative Mathematics Geometry Lesson 112, and we're going to do some translations, and we're going to try to come up with some conjectures, uh, which are things that we think are true, but we haven't proven are true about um, translations. So let's take a look at the problem. So we have a whole bunch of points, and the problem says um, that after a translation, the image of V is W. So I'm going to take a pen, and I'm going to draw an arrow from V to W. So that means when we do our translation, V moves to W, like this. Okay. So, uh, we want to do this translation on all these points and see if we can find at least three other points um, that, where we can find their images. So, I'm going to trace V and W. Let me change colors. Let's try black. So, on my tracing paper, I'll put the same arrow, V to W. And then I'm gonna just trace a whole bunch of these other points. I'm not gonna write the letters right now. I'm just gonna mark the points. All right, if we find any of these points that wind up on other points, then we'll look up which points they were. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's slide V to W and let's be careful not to twist it as we slide it. And there we go. All right. So it looks like maybe this point that's on K now, which point was that? That was O, so it looks like maybe O move to K, so I'm going to write O here. O moves up to K. And let's see if we can find another one. Looks like maybe M, which is right here, M moves up to J. At the same time, J moved up to E, E moved up to A. All right, so we think O moved to K. And M moved to J, and J moved to E, and E moved to A. Um, all right, so the answers um, for problem one would be O goes to K, and there's a lot of answers that are right. M goes to J, J goes to E, and E goes to A. Uh, let me see if I can find one more. Um, let's see, when O went to K, it looks like K went to G and G went to B. So this K dot moves up to G and the G dot moved up to B. So I'm going to draw those in, too, because I think that will be helpful in our conjectures. All right. So when we look at this, what is something that looks like it's true? So a lot of my students um, came up with all of the translations are the same size or the same length. So um, everything moved by the same distance. Whatever this distance is from V to W, that's how far O moved, that's how far K moved, that's how far G moved. Um, 
And then maybe if we look at these lines, you know, maybe there's some other conjecture we should come up, we could come up with. Um, but I'm going to leave it to you to figure out if there's any conjecture you can make there. For the second part of the problem, we're going to do the same thing, but this time v moves down to z. So we're going to, I'm going to draw an arrow from v to z. And I'll draw that here as well. Okay, so then we're going to translate from V down to Z without twisting, and we're going to look for points that wound up on other points. And it looks like maybe, maybe H winds up on R, um, maybe L. Let's see if L winds up on T. Mm, hard to tell. Maybe it went too far, so maybe not L and T. Um, but maybe F or I winds up on P. Let's see. Let's slide it down here. Yeah, it looks like F wound up on P. So it kind of looks like F wound up on P. And uh, I think we came up with H winds up on R. Yeah, it looks like H winds up on R. So those would be two of the answers to the second one. Uh, and you have to find another answer. And then uh, it's going to ask you if, you're, if the conjecture um, or conjectures that you made in question two are still true after you've done the second one. So I'm going to leave that to you to figure out.